back everyone to another episode of Bumbles. Today I'm here bringing you guys another game review. And the game that I'm reviewing today is one that I, I'm really excited to bring you guys, like seriously. Today's game review is on a game called Slime Sand Super Slime Edition. Now this game is available on multiple systems, including Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and Steam! But today's game play and my review is based on the Xbox One edition. Now this game cost $14.99 at the time of this review for the, on the Xbox One Marketplace, so I can't speak for other things, but that is what it cost for at the time of this review. So please do check it out if you're interested. So what is Slime Sand about? Have you guys ever played Meat Boy? Or Ink? Or pretty much any platformer game? that throw something at the, at the player and ask you to get from point A to point B? I know that you have to. Slime Sand is basically a platformer like Super Meat Boy. So basically, this game is a platformer that asks you to get from point A to point B while doing various things, various jumps, avoiding various obstacles, and to get there, by the way, as fast as you can. So that is what Slime Sand is, and I'm so excited about this game. Let's get into the graphics, the soundtrack, and the controls. The graphics in this game are kind of a retro throwback to these games like Super Meat Boy and, and all these other type of games. But I have to say, I love the graphics. They're bright, they're colorful, and they're just cute. I love them. I can't say enough good things about the graphics. I love when a creator does something that is unique. And they have definitely done something unique here with these graphics. Pretty, different, and pleasing to the eye. Now the soundtrack in this game, one word, awesome! I love the soundtrack of this game so much. I can't praise it enough. It always has a way of making you want to keep going and go fast and move fast and make that jump and do this. The soundtrack is very well done and it deserves all the praise in the world. Now first off, let's talk about the controls. The controls in this game are really well done, and the layout of the controls are really, really, really well done as well. Basically, you have a jump, you have a morph slash slowdown of time, so this allows you to move through different things. You have a dash, and that's pretty much it, guys. Those are your moves. Dash, jump, and phase through things. Now, now they put all these together and make them work very well together. Whether it be dashing or, or phasing or whatever it is, the controls work simply stupendous in this game. They did a great job. Slime Sand really is a callback to a game like Super Meat Boy, where you have to bounce from one wall to the other or you know do some kind of crazy jump or avoid a chainsaw or whatever. Basically in this game, it's this simple. You're a green little blob. Everything on the map that is green, it's okay for you to touch. Everything that is red, uh-uh, you're gonna die if you touch it. So, using your moves, whether it be phase, which allows you to phase through green things, dash, which allows you to move from one place to another faster, or jump, you have to remember you have to avoid the red dots, or red walls, or red, whatever it is that you're trying to avoid. You have to avoid anything red. So. You have to figure out how to get to the top of the stage or wherever you need to go without touching red. But to make that even harder, if you take too long on each level, the bottom or the top or the side will start to close in on you with a red wall. I'm going to call it a red wall of doom. And if it touches you, you die. That's simple, guys. That is what this gameplay is. It is a platformer. That is all about getting from point A to point B as fast as you can, avoiding the obstacles, getting through the obstacles, and doing so in a fast manner. Very simple, very simple, simplistic idea for a game. One final thing I did want to talk about in the gameplay section is as you go through this game, there are apples that you can collect as well as various other special things you can collect. You can use these apples to basically purchase a different play style. So for example, it will, it, as you go into the, they call it the slime store, 
you are presented with various different things that you can get. For example, maybe a different character who has a different move. Like, for example, maybe one character has a double jump, but maybe it takes away something else. Maybe another character has a double dash, but maybe you can't jump as high. So basically, in the store section of this game, you can change kind of your play style to better suit or make the game more difficult for you if you so choose. So that is basically the gameplay of this game. Let's talk about the cons. There's really not many guys. My only con to this game really is, is that at times it's difficult. That's simple. My only real con for this game, well I have two little cons for this game, very small. First off is it is rather repetitive and it's nothing new that we haven't seen before in a game. If you go and play Meat Boy and then play this one exactly afterwards, you're gonna say there's not a big difference here between these two games. And that is very true. So that is my first con. Now my second con is simply this, replayability. Yes, there are achievements and things that you can get by going back through this. So that does increase its replay value a little bit. But kind of for me in a game like this, really the ultimate goal is finding out how to complete each level and getting through it. So replay value for me isn't as high as maybe some people would put it. So that's my second con, really. My third and final con for this game is the story. I do wish it had just a little bit more of a story to it. You know, kind of like how Meat Boy, you're supposed to say the Meat Princess. This game could have done with a little bit more of a story, but overall, I'm not gonna hate on it because it doesn't have a story. So really all that's up to ask is, what is this game gonna get on a Mumble Tree? This game is charming as heck to me. I can't, I can't stress that enough, guys. I love games like this. It's bright, it's colorful, it's got a great soundtrack, it's got nice gameplay, it's smooth, it's got good controls. I was like blown away by this game because I wasn't expecting much. And with that in mind, I got a reward it on its score. Now I went back and forth between a 7 and an 8, but today I'm going to give this game an 8. And I'll tell you why. Even though I wish that it had a little bit stronger of a story, everything else is perfect. It's colorful. Like I said, I could just keep listing these over and over for you again, but in my opinion, this game deserves an 8 because it does so many things right. It's not a perfect game. It's not anything new that we haven't seen before, but it's a solid game and a fun game and a game that will have you entertained for hours. And it's not at a, you know, a back-breaking cost, so you can afford it, I gotta give it an 8 guys, I'm sorry, I just do. Anyways guys, this has been my review of Slime Sand. I wanna thank you guys all so, 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 so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and smack all those buttons. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye everyone, take care.